So <clears throat> again, let me just create one uh, that fill the basic information. This we yesterday we discussed yesterday itself, and we'll move ahead. So let me just give here some introduction. Let me do this way. Same name. I'll keep as a description as well. We'll take this RFP test project. And I'm spe specifying the basic information. So let me take here ACA specific. Yeah, I I wanted to I wanted to know what is that uh, origin uh, what is Ariba sourcing and when you have that uh, test project. Uh, uh, not all those two. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, sir. I I wanted to know regarding that origin, sir. Uh, only it shows uh, it says Ariba sourcing, no and. Uh, and uh, here, here we have something called as a test. Uh, sorry, not test project. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. So, so what is this test project and what is this origin? Uh, means are you are you sourcing? Okay, same thing. That, that uh, explained I asked in yesterday session. So, test project option is given in the SAP Ariba because you know in the SAP Ariba there is no concept of the transport uh, transporting the changes. So like, you know, in SAP backend system, whenever we have to move any kind of changes, so we have transport number, right? We can create simply one transport number and we can move the changes from one system to another system. But in case of Ariba, we do not have any transport functionality here. Okay. So we have only two options. That one option is that either we can use this data import and export. That means let's assume that we have make some configuration, for example, template configuration. So this template configuration we did in the test site and now after the business approval that we have to move to the production site. In that case, we can use data import and export. And uh, second option is that either we have to perform from the scratch. So for example, let's say this uh, approval workflow. So for this approval workflow, we do not have any flexibility to import uh, the changes. So in that case, we have to perform the changes from the scratch in the production system with the help of the emergency user ID. So whenever we will we'll move any changes in that production site, so in the we, we also have to perform a round of testing just to make sure whatever we configured that is working fine, right? So whenever we'll create the document for the testing testing purpose, so we have to select here the as a test project. So okay. once we'll set as test project, so what system will do? System will not circulate this document outside of the client system. So it will be only available in the client system just as a reference of the testing. That's it. Okay. okay. And if you select as the no, then system will understand this document is that real time documents and uh, as usual, what is that, uh, whatever that uh, subsequent step is required. So either system will send to supplier or it will send for the approval, whatever. Okay. So, so this document, uh, this document, once if it is created, supposedly we are selecting that test project thing. So obviously it is understood that it is for test. Mm -hmm. So this will flow from, uh, uh, it, 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 it will not flow, it will not flow from Ariba to black backend, right? No, no, no. It will be only in the Ariba, Ariba, Ariba database. Uh, okay. And one more thing, if we are selecting that as no, that means the project will flow, means that that uh, sorry uh, yeah that project or data will flow from Ariba to ERP that's how it is right yes, yes, yes. so whatever so, the subsequent so, activity required the system will perform so 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 for this configuration to work we should have already configured the previous step right like if you're selecting yes then it, it should not flow out of Ariba if you're selecting yeah. no then it will flow out of Ariba Basically, this type of configuration is in, in not in our hand because okay. this configuration is at the, the field level. So this dimensional field setting uh, configuration access we do not have. It is completely on the Ariba team hand. Okay. okay. So whatever field we have to display, whatever field we have to hide, or whatever the uh, custom fields we need to add, there's some in, in all the cases we have to take uh, the Ariba team help. No, no, no. I understand that. Uh, but if you are selecting the test project as no. Mm -hmm. That means that means uh, that means we are allowing the uh, file to flow from uh, Ariba to uh, ERP or any SAP backend system. So we need to configure that backend system with Ariba, right? Yes, For the data to flow. Obviously, obviously, integration test point configuration required. Integration test part. Test point. Okay. 
Okay. That, is, that, that, that is the part of the yes. Obviously, the uh, integration should be in place in order to like uh, transmit the document from the Ariba okay. to the system. Okay. And uh, here, here, just two lines below, we have something called as origin. Uh, just next to that, Ariba sourcing is written. So it that means data is flowing from Ariba sourcing to if you are creating that, right? Yes. Means we are creating in Ariba. That's why it's called as Ariba sourcing, right? Yes. yes. I, okay. I said, like I explained the one scenario that if we are creating this document only in the like directly in the Ariba, the origin will be displayed as the origin Ariba source. Okay. But in case if we if that if this information will flow from the backend system, backend SAP system, or any third party system, so in that case it will display as the either EC ERP or it will display as the external. Okay, thank you. All right, so up to this, uh, like origin, we discussed yesterday, and rest of the fields are the optional. So, if required, we can enter, and if not required, we can skip. But basically, Ariba is offering this 360 degree view to the customer. So, they are also recommending, like, even though the field is not important from your business perspective, but if the some, some information is relevant, so kindly provide the, all the information to in a respective field so that like uh, when during reporting time whenever you want to extract the report so you can extract the report from the some particular field as well okay so this is something we have to like uh, provide the information at the header level so basically these are the information whatever we have specified here that information is relevant at the header level and after filling this information we have to move to the next session and next session is that external system integration so this a section will only be available if our Ariba site is like integrated with the backend SAP site. So even yesterday also, I we discussed a high level like uh, the some scenario. So in case like if the customer they have the integration with the SAP backend system, so how, what is the like a flow, and uh, how the document will arrive in the SAP Ariba and which information will arrive from the SAP Ariba to the backend SAP system. So just to discuss in, in, in more in details, let me just share one PPT. Uh, 